y'all this is audra hicks your tennessee realtor let's talk today about termite contracts encapsulation updates things like that and proper documentation that you would need to have whenever you go to list your home so please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because i put the real in real estate right sheldon tell them stewie what about it yeah <laughs> As I told y'all in my previous video, it's always important to go under the house and look in your crawl space. So I wanted to go over a few things that would be great on the front end to have. And um, if you've done your proper maintenance, please always keep up with your invoices, your paid receipts, all of your documentation that you have done on maintenance, whether it's your HVAC, your termite treatments, or I mean, not treatments, but your yearly um, termite contract that you have uh, to show your buyers that you um, have been make, making sure everything's maintained you know if anything to do with your roof your updates that you've done and and where what you've paid and things like that so some things that are great if you have already done it is a, con a termite contract it shows that you care about you know having that looked at every year and making sure there are no termites to come and um you know, uh, hinder your deal at all whenever you go to list your home. Uh, <clears throat> so encapsulation, if you have done that, that's A plus. Um, having it done properly is a plus too. There are people that will do it uh, and not do it up to good, you know, quality work and stuff too. So um, any updates to the kitchens and bathrooms, make a list of things that you have done um to your home since you've lived there or you might you know since you've bought it since you've built it whatever make a list of that for me as a listing agent i always make an updates and features list you know because there might be features about the property that people need to see and uh, know about um and also uh, any updates that my clients have done and you know if they know a rough time a rough idea of when it was done or maybe how much it's worth doing that or whatever um, <clears throat> other things that you can do to the home before you list here in the spring, we are coming into the spring market. Things are already starting to move here in Tennessee. So, um, fresh paint, update your curb appeal, you know, get fresh flowers out there, uh, clean out all the beds of all the weeds and, and leftover flowers from last year. Make sure that you put your mulch or your rock in, um, do that. And anything you can do to freshly clean the inside and outside of that home, <clears throat> make sure you do that before you list the home. So you can pressure wash the outside, have the roof cleaned. Um, they use a soft wash system for that. Keep up with your documentation. If you paid a company to come do it, that was great. Also, your septic system, if you have had that maintained, please keep the records on that so that we can provide when the last time that that septic system has been um, pumped and inspected and stuff like that. Um, that's always a good thing for selling uh, when you have kept up with that. Um, flooring, uh, make sure you clean all the flooring. You have all the carpet cleaned uh, or replaced. Like if it's in really bad shape, it's always good to replace it. Um, I have some buyers that love carpet in all the bedrooms, but they don't love it everywhere else. And then I have a lot of buyers that don't want any carpet. So a lot of times, <clears throat> a lot of our sellers are putting in the new LVP flooring, um, because it is much better these days than it used to be. It used to look pretty cheap and chintzy, so um, the flooring looks like real hardwoods uh, at times now, too. So you see that in a lot of high-end homes still um, <clears throat> where the LVP is um, going throughout the home and no carpet. Uh, so it never hurts to have records for all your maintenance and to have that done on the front end before listing. So if you have records of everything, if you want to put it in a nice notebook, we can keep that, make copies of all of it first, you know, have it in a notebook for people to see. Um, you know, if you've currently had it surveyed, um, I like to have that as records as well. Um, 
Other features that are ones that I think a lot of people really look for, especially in your high-end homes, is the outdoor space, um, a detached garage, um, and that's not even just in high-end homes. A lot of people love that. They want their patios, they want uh, decks, and they want outdoor spaces and garages. Uh, those are very expensive. We are finding that out um, as we go to build ours um so ho house generators we have that we've had that ever since we lost our previous home to a fire and we moved here nine years ago um we put in a whole house generator we thank god we did that because that has came in handy many times over the years um many times during the year um <clears throat> for us and we wouldn't want even our uh, garage that we're building we want um it on that as well so um <clears throat> that is a good selling feature as well and a storm shelter we're in tennessee i hear this so much from different clients moving and buyers that think that we are just tornado alley here in tennessee that is not the case but we do get quite a few tornadoes yes we do um but that is tennessee our weather is sometimes we can experience all four seasons in one day so or or one week usually in a day, you know, so you might go out, um, had to go out in a hat this morning, warmer stuff. It was only supposed to be 39 degrees today and we've been having 50s, 60s, 70s and for it to drop today like that, but it did make it to 41. So we went in the 40s at least, but it was, it was cold compared to what we've had recently. So hopefully this is good, no good, um, um, information for y'all. If you like my uh, content, please don't forget, forget to hit that subscribe button and please share with your family and friends. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye y'all.